Once again, audience, and welcome back to How to War Part 2. Um, I'm not sure if that's even an apt name for this. We are here in Tree Fort uh, with my gunpowder base, Tyler. In my first video, if you didn't catch it, I covered the Alliance Gate, uh, joining an alliance, checking your mail, <coughs> chat applications. Uh, but ultimately the goal here is to get you into war. So you should already be active and in a war at this point, if you followed the videos and actually went through with that. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about was filling the war bases. Um, as you can see here in Tree Fort, we are in, I don't even know, probably a 25 on 25. If you are filling the war bases, uh, you will probably want to be, if you're new, not filling war bases at all. Uh, if you are probably an industrial or a gunpowder or even an enlightened, you might want to ask what people's preference are, preferences are. Uh, most people will not actually go ahead and update where it says send me some troops. They will simply leave that to say send me some troops. However, the standard is that you fill with your siege first, which are bombards, cannons, um, bombards, cannons, artillery, or howitzers. So those are siege units. Those go in first. After that, some people like to wait until they have a British range. The reason they wait for a British range uh, is because they have an additional one range. So rather than having a range of four, they have a range of five. Uh, other alliances, such as the Outlaws, will go with heavy Gatlins and then any ranged after that. However, as I said, communication is key. Get in there and ask if you would like to help out as far as doing the war base fills. Now, complemented with that, you're going to want to know how many troops you can actually hold in your Alliance Gate. So if you go to your Alliance Gate, right up here, right up there, touch info, It'll tell you how many Alliance troops you can actually have. Uh, the reason this number is important is because if you're on a lower level account, it will allow you to pick what troops are best suited to your nation. Uh, there are several videos available on the different benefits of the nations. If you wanted to actually read for yourself and maybe explore, you can actually go to Revolution uh, and touch on each one of these. It will go ahead and tell you the different benefits of the Chinese, the British, the French, Germans, Greeks, Japanese, Koreans, and Romans. The more popular uh, warring, I guess, nations, I would have to say are probably the Koreans, uh, followed by the British, which is what my account here is. Uh, and I believe French are fairly popular as well. <clears throat> so, you can give those a read and figure out what troops would best suit you, uh, and request the appropriate troops from your clan members. Appropriate troops meaning that if you're going to go for, let's say for instance, you're going to go for a tank. Well, you need to know first things first, a tank will take up 10 spaces. The second thing you're going to want to know, what tank should you get? Well, if you go to your revolution, you can siphon through here and find out that the Greeks actually have the biggest tank in the game. Um, so if there's anybody that is actually Greek on your team in your alliance, you're going to want to say, Greek tank, please. Next, French. next after that would be the French. You would want to say a French tank, please. So, uh, and the same goes for, for instance, ranged. You're going to want to know that the Koreans actually have uh, double the firing firing speed. So, the Wa Rang, uh, you would say Korean shooters, or for instance, the British. The British have that plus one range. And they do a little bit more damage. Uh, what else is there? So, you're going to want to play with that, and you're going to want that to complement what you've actually got trained. So, if you are, for instance, if you yourself are British or uh, Korean, you might want to be going for a heavy, in which case you're going to say uh, British or, or, sorry, Greek or French heavy. Uh, but help help your alliance by being specific in your request, uh, and that's about it. So to cover the bases with what we've covered now, 
War fails, start with your siege. Uh, always communicate with your teammates as far as if it's okay that you fell. Second to that, check your alliance gate. See how many troops you can actually receive. Be specific. Check out the advantages and different disadvantages of the different nations and request the appropriate troops and be specific. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe down below. Keep your sticks on the ice and have a good time.